friends, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to our daily vlog, back to school shopping daily vlog. So we're going to take you guys with us today, show you guys what we get back to school shopping. We're not buying school supplies. I already told you guys in the other vlog, but our school is providing, actually a company in our town is providing all the school supplies and everything. We did buy backpacks and so maybe I'll show you that at the end of the vlog, but we need to go get school shoes clothes, stuff like that, especially for Nate, um, but both the kids need new shoes. So we've got everybody loaded up in the van. David ran in to get something for Nate's bag. We like to have an extra change of clothes for him that I didn't replace. Um, but we're driving, we live in the very south part of Indiana, and there's not a lot of shopping right here, so we're going to go about an hour north of us to go do some shopping. So you guys come with us, we'll bring you along. We'll show you guys what we do, what we get. I'm sure we'll have lunch. We're just making a big fun day out of it. It's a random Thursday before they start school on Wednesday. And um, the kids are ready to go. They're like stir crazy. David's off today. So we're just doing a big family fun day. So you guys come with us. Let's get driving. Okay, you guys, we're just leaving Shoe Carnival. Actually, Daddy's checking out for us. I took the kids to the car. We ended up finding shoes. I was trying to really find some for Nate that he liked, and it's really hard because he doesn't have much of an opinion. Nate has autism, if you don't know, and he's never been that excited about shoes. So we tried on some Nike Airs that I really liked. We would have had to buy the magnetic closures from Amazon because they had laces. But then we found these pair of Skechers that were Velcro. They were in his size. They actually fit his foot a little better because they were wider and they light up and he loved them. I'm hoping the light up factor doesn't distract him too much. Um, so we're gonna have to kind of see how it goes. But then Lucy saw some light up shoes she liked and I couldn't say no to her if I didn't say no to him. So they ended up with both light up shoes, which aren't my favorite, but the kids love them. So that's all that matters. So she didn't even know they were light up. She just really liked the design and then realized they also lit up. So, shoes check. It was kind of crazy, but we did it. Now we're going to run into Target because they have all of their graphic tees for like $4, I think. And we're going to go do some shopping. How did that go, honey? Went well. I got $10 off. Oh, nice. How'd you do that? Uh, by becoming a member. All right. So, we did pretty good at... They both end up with Skechers light up. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I was just excited that Nate picked his own shoes out. That was really huge. And I think Target has Caroline Cart, so hopefully Nate can ride in there. It is very hard to keep up with him in a store. So we're hoping that we can find a Caroline's cart. Mm -hmm. It's like a seat built into a um, buggy cart for special needs. And usually Target has them, and they are a godsend. So we're going to go check out Target and do some more shopping.
made it back home. I don't know how much footage we got. It was really crazy trying to shop with everybody. So let me just break it down and then I'm gonna show you guys the whole haul. Um, first we went to shoe carnival. We found the kids both to machines. Then we went over to target because they had all their graphic tees for $4. However, there was like so few graphic tees left. I guess we hit the end of the sale. I, I never see target. So empty. I was trying to find Nate a size. He wears a large, I believe at our medium. I think it's a medium at target. He wears a large in old Navy, but I was trying to find his size at target. There was not one shirt in his size. Um, and they had zero shorts, not one pair besides they had a couple of like gym shorts, but no other kind. <laughs> so then we decided to go on. We did a couple of shirt. Well, I'll show y'all for Lucy and Mark. It's okay. It's okay. Mark's really loud. Um, then we went over to the outlets and we decided to go ahead and eat lunch because at this point it was like 1130. So where you saw us eat lunch was a place called Max and Irma's. I had never heard of it before. We totally took a chance, but it was so good. I love when we go places and they have a very diverse kids menu. <laughs> Sometimes it's like chicken fingers, a hamburger, and that's it, you know, or something like that. Um, grilled cheese, you know, but they had lots of different choices. Lucy chose pasta and they had, you could choose like your sauce, but she just got it with butter. And they come with like a breadstick, plus they got to choose their side. They had lots of different sides. It was really good. Me and David both had a hamburger, and Mark kind of just shared with all of us. And then we went back to the outlets. We went into Old Navy and Children's Place, and we went to a couple other. It's very hard to find kids' clothing, apparently. There was like some baby stores, but like Nate's in a size that's kind of past some of those stores. Like I didn't want to take him into Carter's, even though they probably had... Maybe they have a size there. I don't know. Um, so Children's Place did have some shorts. Still no jean shorts. Everybody had actual jeans pants. And it's just too hot for that yet. So we're just going to make it do with what we got. I may try to look online and get him a couple extra pairs of shorts. But it'll only be for a few months before it gets cold. So I think we can make it do with what he has. But I also pulled out their backpacks, their lunch boxes, and their water bottles. So I can just show you all their back to school stuff at once. Um, like I told y'all, we don't have to buy school supplies. A local company, Super ATV, is providing all of the school supplies this year. So that's wonderful. Um, normally I do like a big haul for school supplies, but I don't have to do that. So this is it. This is everything. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you guys. I hope you don't get like the wind tunnel effect. I've got a ceiling fan going. It is really hot outside. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys everything we got today, plus their backpacks, lunch boxes, and all that that we have going on. And we're going to get ready for school. So well, let's do it. All right, you guys. I've got everything laid out here on the counter. So we're going to start over here with the lunch boxes. We had picked these out a couple weeks ago at Target. This is the one Lucy picked out. She is big into animal print. And this is actually really cool because this whole bag, I cut my finger at the shoe store um, on a box. It really hurts. But this whole bag you can freeze. It has like the whole thing is freezable. So you just stick this whole thing in the freezer and it all freezes which is really cool and it's a nice good size. It has a zipper. It does not have a side um, thing for her water bottle. So she'll have to put that probably on her backpack. But this is a really cool little lunch bag. So we don't have to worry about an ice pack for her. And with the bent go boxes, which I'll show you, those are not, everybody asks like, are they insulated? They're not insulated in terms of like, they won't stay cold for hours. So you definitely need an ice pack. And this is a great option. And then I was very happy to find this for Nate because the Bentco boxes are kind of big. You need like a bigger lunch bag and sometimes it's hard to find, but I found him this Igloo cooler bag and it's supposed to stay cool longer. It is insulated. It's not freezer or anything, but you could put an ice pack in here and it probably would stay cold. I like to get these kind that have this little mesh pocket because you can stick an ice pack down in there. Um, but it's nice and big. And what I also like to look for, which Lucy's doesn't have, is this side pocket for a water bottle. It just is easy for lunch, you know, to have their drink right there. So that's the two lunch boxes we picked out. Um, Lucy did pick out hers, but I just picked out Nate's for him because he doesn't care. <laughs> I've tried to ask him and he just does not care. It's not important to him. So we just made it simple. Same thing going for the backpacks. So I picked this out, but I really wanted a backpack for him that was going to be big because he has to carry a lot of stuff. 
He always has to have a change of clothes. Plus, he has his um, technology, like, speaking device thing. Um, it's pretty big. And then, of course, like, whatever binder or book he's carrying around. So this was a pretty good size without it being, you know, huge for him. He is nine. Um, but it says, uh-oh, what's wrong? Are you done with this? Okay. Um, Mark is done with that. I'm going to put it over here. Um, it has like, it has a laptop sleeve and padded shoulder straps. I don't know. It was only $17. So I figured if this absolutely falls apart or we hate it, it's only $17 to replace it. Some of the backpacks were so expensive. It does have another water bottle pack, little pouch, which is cool. Okay. This is the, the backpack Lucy fell in love with. It is like glittery leopard print, cheetah print, um, it does have the water bottle pouch. It has lots of different pockets. She's already added a hand sanitizer. We picked that out at Bath and Body Works a while ago. Um, she just loves everything about this, y'all. It's sparkly. It's girly. It's right up her alley. Okay. I bought these at the end of the school year last year when Sam's was having them too for $25. So Sam's is a great place. I don't know if they still have them, but check because you can get a really great deal. So the two-pack comes with a Bent Go Kids box and a Bentgo Fresh box, and I will show you the difference. The Bentgo Kids is like a similar style, well, the exact same style we have always had with the kids, but this is like a mermaid print, which Lucy loves that. So it has all the different compartments. My kids love these boxes. It makes making lunch so easy. You just literally fill up all the compartments and you're done. They do fit in our lunch boxes. I've already tried. We do have our ones from last year too, so we'll mix and match. This is cool though. This is a Bentgo Fresh. It says for kids seven or ages seven to adult. So you could fit, you could fit a lot more food in this one. It's bigger and it has this thing that comes out if you want to pack a sandwich or something. This is really cool. <laughs> kind of want one of these for myself. But the, the insides are a lot bigger, which for Nate is really good because sometimes I feel like I'm not giving him enough in the smaller box. I think he's really going to enjoy and it has like a bigger, it's deeper and it has, this part is more hinged. I don't know. I just think that it's really, really cool. I can't cut it with one hand, but that is the Vent Go Fresh box. And, um, yeah, I think it's really nifty. Okay. Let me move some of this stuff and show you guys the water bottles. I've used this Zach, I think this is Zach brand. We've taken off the sticker, but Basically, this is the one I got for Nate. It's insulated, and I also like to look for him a straw that is hard because he will chew up the soft ones. So this one looks like a pretty good one for him. Lucy, can you please go out of here? You're blaring loudness. Okay, this is Lucy's that she picked out. It's really cool. It is insulated with, like, more of a spout style, and it just opens. Um, it's locked right now. Oh, it's locked. You can unlock it and then, oh, no, that was locked. How do you open it? Okay, you show us. There we go. And then you just drink out of it. So hopefully when it's locked, it won't leak. That is pretty cool. All right, so that was all the stuff that we had gotten before we went shopping today. Okay, so at Old Navy, I was trying to find Nate some shirts. They had shirts for six. Actually, some of them are five and some of them are six. I really like, let's take a check on Nate, uh, Mark. Um, okay, I really like Old Navy shirts. They're super soft. So I got this one for um, Nate, the striped one. It was $5. And then I thought this one was cool. It was, they did not have a lot in his size either. Phone is beeping. Um, but I thought this is really cool. Open rows, good vibes. Wonder more, wonder less. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was cute. And this one was six. So we got those. Um, this is from Children's Place. Lucy was very happy to find a birthday shirt. Oh, Marky is seven. not happy. So she's going to wear that for her birthday. I am seven. Not yet. And then we got Nate some shorts. They had the shorts for, I think the, all the shirts were, the graphic shirts were $5. And then the shorts were $10. So we got him a khaki pair, which will be great for church or school. And then a gray pair. And then I thought, I always like Nate in blue. So I'm always drawn to the blue stuff. But it says off the chart, smart, little graphic tee. And then we also saw this one for Lucy. It's like science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We just thought it was cute. So that's what we got at Children's Place. 
Mark is crying. I had to get those. Lucy needed ankle socks because her feet have been rubbing in the nose shows. So we got these just like cute little printed pack from Target. Cat and Jack brand. The other things we got from Target, they had a couple of shirts for $4 that we found. So this one I got for Mark. It's okay. What's wrong? Lucy, hand him his cup. It's over here by Mommy. Um, this little like green and striped white shirt and then for Lucy this blue shirt with the uh, rainbows so that's the only things we got at Target she really did not need any clothes but we did find a few things all right let's show you guys their cool shoes so <laughs> like I said this is the first year Nate has picked out his own shoes I'm hoping this doesn't become a distraction um, but he loves them so much and they actually fit his foot really well and um those are the ones we ended up with. So we'll see. The phone is still going off. And then Lucy. Her shoes are sparkly and girly. They light up as well. They light up as well. As soon so. as you put something on the bottom of the foot, it lights up. They're very sparkly and they're very cute. So. It's very sensitive. They're very sensitive. I don't know how long the light up will last. I'm not usually a fan of light up shoes, but we just let them get what they wanted. And Skechers is a good brand too, so hopefully. No, she ended I didn't, up being I didn't even know these were light up. a one and a half in that brand. Night was a four. Um, so that's it. That's everything we got. Um, it is now almost four o'clock. So we're going to put all this stuff away. It'll be dinner time soon. Did you have fun going shopping today? Yeah. It was a fun family day. We didn't get a whole lot. I mean, to go an hour plus out of the way, we didn't we truly didn't do a lot, but it was fun to just get out and look around. And, and as soon as you set this shoe down, lights up. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You're going to look so cute. Are you excited for school to start? What's your favorite thing you got back to school? What? What's your favorite item you got back to school? Mm. Your backpack. It is very, very cool. I, the hand sanitizer did not come back. Yeah, we got that at Bath and Body Works. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you guys back in a little bit, and we'll finish out the day. Okay, we just discovered something. So if we want to turn the lights off, we can push a button. That's probably what Nate's shoes Yeah, there was a shoe that we found that didn't work, and then that probably had the button pushed. That's cool. So if these get too distracting, although Nate might be able to figure it out. So if we want to turn them off. You push the bell something that says lights. Oh, that's very cool. Daddy. Okay, well that's good to know because I was worried that the lights would be distracting, but maybe if they are distracting, they can just turn them off. So, it's very cool. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep folding up the shirts here. Hey guys, okay, it is now almost seven. I made the kids just some really easy chicken nuggets for dinner, and Dave and I haven't eaten, but we have leftovers. We're gonna eat in a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys, I ran to Kroger because I had to get Nate's medicine, and we've been waiting on it for days, but they finally got it in. And so, when I'm in there, Oops, I'm dropping stuff. When I'm in there, I like to look at the sales because I don't shop at Kroger a whole lot, but I love their sales. Um, they had some good sales going on. So I'm going to turn the camera. I'm going to show you the few things I got. We didn't really need anything, but um, I can't pass up the good deals. So let me show you. Okay, so first of all, this is the best deal. This is their Angus Private Selection Beef. It's normally almost $6 for this pound. But they had it marked down to $2.49 at my store. The ad said $2.99, but it rang up even cheaper than that. That is so cheap. Um, Walmart's ground beef, I couldn't buy it because this week when I looked to buy ground beef from them, their 80-20, just regular, not the Angus, just the regular ground beef, was like $5.15 a pound just for the 80-20. So two forty nine dollars a pound is much better. I just got four. I probably should have got more. Um, but we go through a lot of ground beef. I usually wait till it's like $1.99 to buy it. But close enough. And it's the like nicer Angus private selection one, which I don't know that makes a difference. But anyway, I'm going to freeze all but one. I got some bananas because Lucy's been asking for bananas and I keep forgetting to buy them. Okay, this was an impulse purchase. I have been looking for the Aldi street corn dip. I've heard a lot of people say it's good. My Aldi doesn't have it, but I saw this. I oh, doesn't want to focus. Mexican street corn dip. Um, it was like $4, but it just looks good. Great heated. That's what I'm definitely going to do. It's corn and cheese and 
you dip it. I'm going to dip it with tortilla chips, and I'm excited. I love, like, corn dip. I make a really good one. Pioneer Woman's version, really good. Okay, these are for Nate. I like to have these in the freezer. Hey, buddy. Mark's getting tired. He didn't take a good nap today because we were <laughs> busy. Um, these were four for $9, which isn't, like, the best deal. This makes them a little over $2 a piece. But I love to have these in the freezer because, y'all, it's just so easy to have these, like, and I'm not tempted if it's like a really busy day and I'm, you know, tempted to go through the drive through or get a Happy Meal or do something like that. This is cheaper and honestly, he likes it better. Um, just a few minutes in the microwave and it's nice and hot. Stouffer's mac and cheese is delicious. They had a bunch of different kinds of things that went in with the four for nine, but I just chose to get all mac and cheese for Nate. Lucy has been begging me to go to Kroger to get these. And as soon as I got home, she grabbed one and ran. She grabbed the raspberry. So I got four of these. She loves these protein smoothies. So they're keto friendly. She's not eating low carb at all. That girl loves her carbs, but she has a hard time getting her protein in. And I randomly got her one of these and she loves it. She won't drink any other kind of like protein smoothie I've ever given her, but she loves these and they have a lot of different flavors. They're a dollar usually. Um, they're really good. Like it's got 12 grams of protein. It's low in sugar. Anyway, I got her a blueberry, a vanilla, and a strawberry. And then of course the raspberry one. Um, they also have a tropical mango one. They have a peach one and like a banana honey one, but I didn't think she would like this. And then um, our Walmart has been out of regular cinnamon rolls. I don't know what's going on and I forgot to get them at Aldi. So I got a pack of cinnamon rolls. We haven't had that in a while. And then grapes were 99 cents a pound. So I got some red and green and these, I ate a couple of them. They're like so crispy. I like when they're small like this and they're so crispy and like crunchy. They're really good. All right. I'm going to put all this away. We'll end the vlog here in a minute. Hey guys, so I put the grapes that I bought in the fridge, but these were in there. We bought these last week. They still look pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to, I wash them and I'm going to dry them off really good. Stick them in a freezer bag, put them in the freezer. These make the best snacks. Like frozen grapes are so good. Um, they get really, really hard, obviously. So I wouldn't recommend giving them to small children or anything like that, but Oh, I haven't had frozen grapes in forever, so I'm so excited. I'm going to let them dry really good, and then I'll stick them in a bag. But anyway, PSA, if you've never had frozen grapes, give it a try. All right, you guys, it's finally bedtime for the kids. Stay, it was like so long. Um, it's 8.15. Everybody's in bed. I don't think anybody's asleep yet. Poor Mark was so tired. He was just laying in the floor. He barely had a nap. Um, I look crazy. I look all smudged. It was really hot out today. So David's finishing up the grass at 8.15, but 8.15 here is like pretty much broad daylight. We don't get dark till closer to 10. It's crazy. Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to finally, finally cut. This has been sitting here for about a week. and <laughs> all Everybody keeps wanting some, and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to cut it. It's such a big hassle to cut a watermelon. My mom taught me a tip, though, the last time she was here to cut it inside of a cookie sheet that has like, um, like a, you know, a lip to it so that the juice doesn't run all over your counter. Um, so I'm gonna do that because I hate how the juice gets all over the place. I usually like, I have a good way of cutting it, but still it's just a big headache. I need to even see if I have room in here. We have so much groceries right now, it's ridiculous. I'll have to make some room to fit a cut up watermelon. I actually can throw away some stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to end the vlog. Um, we had a really good day. Got a lot done. Spent some time together. It's really weird when David has a day off that's like different than normal. Like it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. Like he shouldn't be <laughs> like today isn't Thursday. It's not a normal Thursday. Normally, you know, when he's home, it's either Monday or Saturday. Um, so it's just weird when it's Thursday, but anyway, we're counting down to school. We got five more days left and it's going to be school time. It's crazy. I don't, I don't know. Like I usually am really excited about the kids going back to school and I am to some extent, but I don't know. I've really enjoyed them this summer and it's been a lot less stressful than other summers. It's been very relaxing and fun. And so I'm going to miss them a whole lot when they go back to school. 
but I'm excited for them. I know it's going to be a good year. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you like this video so I know to make more, comment, all the things. I want to see what you guys are thinking. Where do you go back to school shopping? Um, is Are you even thinking about back to school shopping? Are you starting school soon? Or is it in a little while? Let me know. Um, that's going to be it for today. So I love you guys and I'll see y'all later. Bye. I bet you think that I should calm down.